subscribers welcome to my youtube channel pastor lois Muji. you are most welcome please keep subscribing keep viewing keep liking may god bless you abundantly in jesus name amen today we are going to talk about knowing god do we really know god and what happens after knowing god so that's what I'm going to share with you. Please join me and let us enjoy the word of God. Amen. We are going to read in the book of Matthew, uh, chapter 16, uh, from verse 13. It says, when Jesus came to the region of Caesarea Philip, he asked his disciples, who do people say the son of man is? They replied, some said John the Baptist, Others say Elijah, and still others, Jeremiah, or son of the prophets. But what about you? He asked, who do you say I am? Simon Peter answered, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. Jesus replied, blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for this was not revealed to you by the man, but by my father in heaven. And I tell you that you are, you are a Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of heads will not overcome it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. And whatever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Praise God. So, man, we are seeing here Jesus walking with his disciples, asking him, who do people say I am? Jesus is asking his disciples, who do people say I am? So they start telling him, some they say you are John the Baptist, Others say you are Elijah, and others say you are Je Jeremiah, and others say you maybe you are one of the prophets. Praise God. Jesus wanted to know, I'm with these people. I walk with them. We stay together. We eat together. We move together. We preach together. But does they real know me? He wanted to know if they know him. So they told him those names. That, that's what people called you. That's what they think you are. Then he turned the question to them. And he asked, but what about you? What about you, my people? What about you, my disciples? The people I walk with, the people I preach with, the people I eat with, the people I sleep with, I know you must know me. What about you? Who am I? Praise God. That was Jesus asking his disciples. Who am I? He wanted to know. Okay, I don't care about those people if they, don't, if they know me or not. But what about you? What about you who preach, who preach about me? What about you who teach about me? Do you really know me? Or you don't? He asks them. What about you? Who am I? We preach about Jesus. We talk about him. But do we really, really, really know him? Or we just read the Bible and talk about what we have read in the Bible. Or we had pastors preach about him, now we are preaching about him. Or they taught us about him, now we are teaching others what they taught us about him. But personally, do you know him? If he comes and asks you, and if he comes and asks you a question, do you really know me? Will you answer him? Who is he to you? Praise God. Who is Jesus to you? 
apart from what they told you about him, who is he to you? Is he a savior? Is he a redeemer? Is he a provider? Is he a helper? Is he a healer? Or not? How do you know him? You have to know Jesus in a personal level. You are not supposed to know Jesus because I know him. After me teaching you about him or telling he, you about him, you go and know him by yourself. Know what he can do to you. Know that when I'm in this situation, Jesus will risk me. Know that when I'm sick, he will heal me. Know that when I have problems, he will save me. Know that he's my redeemer, that he is my savior, that he's my protector. Do you really, really, really know Jesus? When he asked his disciples, I was imagining what they were thinking about. It seems all of them, they kept quiet. Until Peter came out and said, until Peter came out and said, you are the son of the living God. Praise God. Peter was, was revealed who Jesus was. But it seems others, they did not know because they kept quiet. Because the question was, what about you? Who do you think I am? So I was expecting everyone to give the answer. But because they did not give the answer, it means they did not know who Jesus was. Praise God. But Peter came and said, I know you. You are the son of the living God. Praise God. The disciples, they walked with Jesus. They saw him doing miracles. They saw him doing everything, preaching the gospel. They ate with them. They shared the word with him. But they did not know him. My question is, do you know Jesus? Yes, you go to church every Sunday. Yes, you pray to him. Yes, you praise him. Yes, you worship him. Yes, you share a word with other people. Yes, you read the Bible, but do you really, really, really know him? So Jesus wants you to know him on a personal level. Not because others, they know him. Not because others, they teach about him. But what about you? That's why he was asking the disciples. He was like, I can't be with the people, walk with the people, that they don't know me. Okay, others, if they don't know me, it's okay. We will let them know. You are my disciples. You are the one supposed to preach the gospel about me. You are the one supposed to let people know me. But if you don't know me, what are you going to tell people? So as long as you are a leader, as long as you are a pastor, as long as you are evangelist, as long as you are a prophet, as long as you, 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 are, you are a minister, you have to know God. You have to know Jesus so that you can tell other people about him, so that you can share your word to, to people. But what are you going to tell them? Praise God. That's why you will find people preaching and say, Jesus does not heal. Or Jesus can't do that. No, this, Jesus cannot perform a, such a miracle. Because they don't know him. But if you know God, you know Jesus, you know what he's capable of doing. And you know what he's not capable of doing. The reason why most of us, we are lost. Because we are hearing what people say about God. But do you know him? If they say, Jesus has said this and that, do you just believe or you go back to the word of God? Or you ask him because God speaks. Praise God. God speaks. And Jesus told Peter, he said, blessed are you, Simon. Blessed are 
by you, Simon, for this was not revealed to you by a man, but by my Father in heaven. Even Peter did not know. He did not know who Jesus was. But God from heaven revealed him who Jesus was. Praise God. Peter answered. He was right in his answer. But he did not have answer by himself. God in heaven revealed that answer to him. And he said, you are the son of the living God. Praise God. Then Jesus told Peter, I tell you now that you are Peter, you are no longer Simon. You are no longer Simon, you are Peter. Praise God. And he said, you are a rock. And he said, oh, I will build my church on this rock and the gates of heads will not overcome it. Jesus, he came to understand the meaning of his name. Praise God. Peter was walking with Jesus, but he never, ne he never understood the meaning of his name. He never understood his mission. He did not understand his purpose. He was just following Jesus. Praise God. But after knowing him, God revealed his name to him. He said, you are a rock. Praise God. So we are serving God. We don't know our purpose because we don't know him. Some people, God never revealed his purpose to you. But you are preaching about him. It's good. But you need to know your purpose in his kingdom. God told Peter, you were a rock, and on this rock I will build my church. After knowing God, he will tell you his purpose on you. He will tell you what he's going to use you for. Praise God. God is the one using you. He knows the area where he wants you to be. On Peter, he said, you are a rock. I'm going to build my church on, on you, on this rock. Praise God. So after knowing Jesus, you will know your purpose. He will, he will show you what you are supposed to do in his kingdom. Praise God. Praise God. So, Peter, after knowing Jesus, Jesus revealed to him, what is the meaning of his name? After knowing God, he will reveal to you what he calls you to do. He will reveal your ministry. He will reveal your vision. Praise God. You are called by God. And he will let you know what he called you for. Praise God. Maybe he called you to be a prophet. He called you to be a pastor. He called you to be a minister, to be a worshiper, to do a praiser. But you don't know you are doing this, you are doing that, and things are not working out because you don't know the meaning of your name. You don't know the calling on your life. But after knowing God, you will know the calling of your life. Praise God. Hallelujah. On this rock I will build my church. And he did not stop from there. And he told him whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. He said I'm giving you keys of the kingdom of heaven. I'm giving you dominion. I'm giving you the rights in heaven. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven and whatever you lose on earth will be lost in heaven. He gave him dominion that now you have a right. Praise God. 
to come to heaven. You are the one holding the keys. Praise God. After knowing who Jesus is, he's giving you keys of the kingdom. He's giving you dominion of the kingdom. You will have a right to permit. You will have a right to forbid. You will have a right to go straight to the heaven because you have the keys to open the heaven. You will have a right to deny everything that you don't want. You will say, oh God, today you will be like Elijah. Elijah said, said today, no rain is going to rain. Praise God. Because he was holding the key to the heaven. You, when you open to the whole heaven, the heaven listens to you. You go to heaven, you come back to earth. You see, on this earth, this will not happen. This will not happen. Praise God. You are holding the key of the heaven. A key of deliverance. Which means whatever you bind, whatever you lose, whatever you want, you ask and it will be given to you. You pray and immediately God will answer your prayers. You ask, God will answer you. Praise God. Every key is in your hand. The key of blessing, the key of open doors, the key of, of favor. Because whatever is happening in heaven, you have a right of it. Praise God. You have a right of what is happening in heaven. Praise God. Let us know God. Let us know Jesus. Everything will be all right. He will give you whatever you want. He will give you the kings, the keys of the kingdom. Let us know who he is. Let us have that intimacy with him. Let us understand what he can and what he can't do. And we will enjoy the life of the salvation. Thank you so much for listening to me. May God bless you. See you next time.